Hi, Dr. Z here with some more information for you and your family. In today's video, I'm going to address urinary tract infections, which account for over 8 million doctor visits each year. While it's true that one in five women will experience a urinary tract infection during their lifetime, men over the age of 50 also experience these infections, often in conjunction with kidney stones or enlarged prostate. A UTI is an infection of your lower urinary tract, including the bladder and urethra. Typically, the urinary tract is a sterile environment that becomes compromised by bacteria or other organisms when they're able to migrate. In most cases, this bacteria migrates from the vagina or rectum to the urinary tract, and 80% of UTIs are caused by a gram-negative bacteria called E. coli. Other gram-negative as well as gram-positive bacteria can also be the culprit, as well as sexually transmitted organisms and even fungus like candida. Symptoms of UTIs include painful and frequent urination, the urge to urinate despite having an empty bladder, pelvic pain and or pressure, and general fatigue. More serious signs include pyuria or white blood cells in the urine that can make it look cloudy, hematuria or blood in the urine, fever, flank pain, nausea, vomiting are all signs that the infection may have reached the kidneys causing pyelonephritis. UTIs are conventionally treated by allopathic doctors with a course of antibiotics. Unfortunately, having a UTI puts women at risk for having another. In fact, 20% of women who have had one UTI will have another. Of that group, 30% are likely to have a third occurrence, and of this group, 80% are likely to have additional UTI reoccurrences. Some women have such high reoccurrence rates of infection that they are on antibiotics more than they are not. This poses new risks for dysbiosis or imbalanced gut flora and digestive changes as well as antibiotic resistance. There are many natural alternatives to antibiotics, and as naturopaths, we use several different approaches to both prevent and treat UTIs. E. coli bacteria rely on the ability to adhere to epithelial tissue in the urinary tract via appendages called fimbria. There are several anti-adhesion agents present in cranberry, bilberry, uva ursi, and a simple sugar called D-mannose that prevent this adherence so bacteria cannot attach to the tissue in the urinary tract and can be excreted through the urine. In addition to preventing bacterial adherence, we also use natural antimicrobials to fight and kill bacteria in the urinary tract. Botanicals such as golden seal, coptis, organ grape, and barberry contain an alkaloid called berberine, which is an antimicrobial that is effective against bacteria like E. coli, viruses, and fungi. We also use supplements to heal and soothe the urinary tract. The powerful antioxidant vitamin C helps to manufacture the connective tissue needed to repair damaged urinary tract tissue. In addition, Demulcent herbs like marshmallow root, corn silk, and plantain leaf can help soothe irritated epithelial tissue. It's important to consult with your naturopath before using these herbs, as several are contraindicated for pregnant or nursing women. Along with these other steps, it's important to optimize the vaginal and gastrointestinal microbiomes. Pathogenic bacteria are allowed to enter when the host's normal defense team is down. You can think of the good microbes as your army and the pathogenic bacteria as the enemy. The use of antibiotics, spermicides, and other toxins can kill your good microbes, allowing the unfavorable ones to colonize and create all sorts of problems. In order to stop the pathogens from colonizing and taking over, you can increase dietary and supplemental lactobacillus species, particularly lactobacillus rhamnosus and bruteri, and optimize your overall GI health. This is especially important in postmenopausal women as lower estrogen states are associated with less lactobacilli in the vaginal tissue. Finally, I want to leave you with some diet and lifestyle recommendations for preventing UTIs. Diet-wise, you can increase your consumption of fermented dairy products like lactobacillus acidophilus yogurt and kefir. You can also eat more garlic and onions for their antimicrobial effects. It's also important to eat good quality organic meats from a known source that you trust, as non-organic sources of meat have been associated with antibiotic-resistant cases of UTIs. 
Lifestyle recommendations include emptying your bladder before and after intercourse, avoiding feminine hygiene products containing deodorants, avoid spermicides that alkalinize the area and kill good bacteria, buying unscented toilet paper, and practicing good bathroom hygiene by always wiping from front to back. Hopefully by practicing some of these recommendations, you can avoid contracting urinary tract infections. But remember, if you do, schedule a naturopathic appointment so we can treat the symptoms as well as address the underlying causes to prevent recurring infections. Thanks for spending time with me today. Until next time, be well.